Hello, friends and family. Good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. God is good. Amen. Another day na binigay niya sa atin. And here we are once again with our Monday devotion. With this topic, ang series po natin ay Jesus, Jesus I, I Need You. you. Yan, okay? So magpapatuloy po tayo sa usapin na yan. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, again, we thank you for this beautiful day na binigay mo sa amin. Another day to serve you, to follow you, to put you first sa buhay po namin, Panginoon. Lord, we just thank you again for your grace and for your mercy. Lord, we want to know you more. We need you. And we want to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes. Amen. So once again, we're on the subject or the devotion title, Jesus, I Need You. Mm. So let's begin. As people we don't necessarily have a hard time following. In fact, we are very inclined to follow current trends, the culture around us, or whatever is accepted in our social setting. No? Following only seems to become difficult when we are asked to be different, to go into the unknown, or to go against what everyone else is doing. So, sinasabi dito na, hindi naman talaga mahirap para sa atin na sumunod. Mahirap lang sumunod pag, yun nga, medyo iba or going into the unknown or, you know, when it goes against what everybody else is doing, no? Let's continue. Are you willing to head off to a place you do not know? To venture out and follow Him wherever He calls you? Throng or many crowds from Judea and Jerusalem we're going out to meet John. Some have estimated that perhaps around 300,000 people went out to be baptized by John. While this number may or may not be accurate, it is safe to say that many more people came than we might envision. Mm -hmm. Question number one here is, what did Isaiah the prophet say about John? Whose way was he preparing? You know, John was preparing the way for uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Number two, who was going out to see John? Mm. It says that all of Judea and Jerusalem. So the people of Judea and Jerusalem went out to see him. Mm. And according to uh, some uh, scholars, around 300,000 people went out to see him. Who was John? And why was he in the wilderness? John was a messenger, a voice in the wilderness, preparing the way for our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Fourth question, what did John say about the one who was coming? John said that he is greater than himself, that he is the greater one, mm -hmm. that even the sandals. sandals or the lace of his sandal, he's not even you know, um, worthy. worthy to untie. Mm. Five is, why do you think the father was well pleased with his son. I would have to say that the Father God was well pleased with his son, Jesus Christ, because of the obedience that his son, Jesus Christ, displayed mm -hmm. by obeying the Father to come to this earth mm -hmm. to save mankind, to die on the cross. All of those who came to be baptized by John in the Jordan traveled a considerable distance. It was not a ride to a local grocery store. Quite a sacrifice was involved. Mm -hmm. Now, are you willing to head off to a place you do not know and follow God wherever He leads you? It takes time to and deliberate effort to seek after the things of the kingdom. I hope you will leave everything behind and follow Him. So, unas abidito, you know, those uh, 300,000 estimate people that went to see John traveled a considerable distance, no? It was not, uh, you know, a short ride or uh, a short walk. No, malayo ang kanilang nilakbahi. And uh, it says quite a sacrifice was involved. It says, are you willing, are we willing to head off to a place that we do not know to follow God wherever He leads us? Mm -hmm. Are we willing to go the distance? It takes deliberate, it takes time and deliberate effort to seek after the things of the kingdom. I hope you will leave everything behind to follow Him. You may have done this when you first came to Christ, but it is a continual way of life. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned this um, in our, uh, last, one of our Sunday services, no? Oh, and yeah. even in our last devotion. Mm, uh, yes. 
It's not just, you don't just receive Jesus Christ tapos na. You know, it's a constant exchanging of the things you, um, parang uh, your ambitions, your desires in exchange for the desires of God. No, It's a continuing exchange, a continuing um, giving up of things. No, So you may have done this, you know, left things behind when you first came to Christ, but it is a continual way of life. Daily, we are to pick up our cross, die to what we want, and follow Him. Mm. Read how Paul put it in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8 to 11. He says, would, what would it cost you to follow the Lord? Mm. What does He want you to leave behind? Allow the Spirit to search our hearts. Mm -hmm. What is He showing you today? Close it in prayer and ask God to show you. Also, we're going to encourage you once again to take this devotion throughout the week and ask God to speak to you. Let's read Philippians chapter 3, verse 8 to verse 11 as I mentioned in the devotion. It says, mm -hmm. yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying, through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. Mm -hmm. So it says here that the Apostle Paul counted everything as garbage. He discarded everything else. He threw it away. Minasura mm -hmm. Counting it all as garbage so that he can gain Christ. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a continual thing that we do every day. Figuring out, realizing that those, the things that we have is trash. And then we throw it out. Diba minsan tayo mga tao... Um, you know, we, we save things, no? uh, we put things in storage, mm -hmm. we think we need it, one day we'll need it. Mm -hmm. And then after a few years or some, some down the, where down the line, you realize it's junk, mm -hmm. you realize it's trash, and then you throw it away. There's a lot of things that we treasure, we think is good for us. Later on in life, we realize that it is trash. When compared to knowing Christ, we realize that it's trash because it's getting in the way of our relationship with God. But yet, in our early years, we, we treasured it, we kept it. When we realize that it is trash, we need to throw it away. Remember, it is a continual way of life. Again, the question here is, that I would like to uh, present to you once again, what would it cost you to follow the Lord. What does He want you to leave behind? Leave behind, yeah. Ang message ni Pastor Arnel uh, last, last Sunday, Sunday you know, yeah. God first mm -hmm. and you're know, leaving everything behind. Mm -hmm. What would it cost you to follow the Lord? What does He want you to leave behind in order that you may follow Him? That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so. Sige, Pastor Arnel. Okay. Last Sunday, uh, I believe God really spoke to us as a church, Amen. as body of believers of Christ, that I know that we should put God first, talaga, Amen. in everything that we do, because all of us would have, will have an opportunity every day to place God somewhere. Minsan na una ang lahat ng bagay sa atin, pero si Lord minsan nasa panghuli na. But following Jesus, talaga, is siya ang number one because. Siya yung ating leader. Siya yung uh, nagbigay sa atin ng everything. So, He should be talaga number one. Amen. Not, uh, not yung gusto natin, not the things na pinupursue natin sa sarili nating kagustuhan, but God. Follow God. Okay? Dun sa devotion natin, yung unang paragraph or statement, sabi dun, na hindi naman talaga mahira para sa atin ang sumunod. Mm -hmm. Totoo nga yun na Marami tayong mga bagay na madaling sundin, sundan. 
Because everyone else is doing it, mm-hmm. ambilis. Pero the thing is, yung mga bagay na kakaiba, mm-hmm. mga bagay na against, mm-hmm. or hindi uso, doon mahirap sumunod. Why? Because pakiramdam natin, hindi tayo tatanggapin ng mga tao, mm-hmm. hindi in tayo sa grupo, mm-hmm. kaya minsan ang hirap sumunod sa mga bagay na hindi ginagawa ng karamihan. Mm-hmm. The thing is, yung ways ni Lord, yung mga bagay na gusto niyang gawin natin, ay talaga kakaiba sa mga yes. paraan ng mundo. Yes, ibang-iba. Yung, ibang-iba. <laughs> Andiyan na yung pwede kang pagtawanan, Andiyan na yung pwede kang uh, ma, ano nga, hindi ka ma-in. Dahil kasi nga, puro ways of world yung sinusundan. Mawalan ka ng kaibigan. Eh, Mawalan ka ng kaibigan, i-persecute ka. Mm-hmm. And that's why nasasabi natin bilang mga Krisyano, ang hirap sundin si Lord. Why? Kasi hindi yung kaisipan na, ta- pagtatawanan ako, hindi na ako tatanggapin sa barkada ko. Mm-hmm. And that's why following the Lord become, ano, parang mahirap. But the truth is, madaling sumunod if everyone else is following mm-hmm. the Lord. Di ba? If, if sa church lahat ay sumusunod sa Panginoon, napakasarap, napakadaling sumunod. But the challenge for us bilang mga Kristiyano is to follow the ways of the, of the Lord. Kasi yung ways ng mundo at saka yung ways ni Lord ay talagang kakaiba, sabi nga talaga ni Pastor. Doon tayo na sa challenge. And then yung question, are you willing to leave behind yung mga bagay na pwedeng uh, pumasok, pwedeng umagaw sa pagsunod natin sa Panginoong Diyos? And palagi nating ini- pinaalala sa ating sarili, sa aking sarili, na every day is a choice, every day is a process mm-hmm. na susundin natin si Lord. Yes. And hindi po ito madali. We need Jesus sa buhay natin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, you know, the devotion is uh, straight to the point, no? And um, I pray, we pray uh, that you will really take this to heart and find those things that you know we need to throw away those things that is uh, getting in the way of allowing us to follow the lord let us throw those things away so that we can fully follow him amen yes amen. Uh-huh. so sa tulong ng panginoong diyos kaya nga yung topic natin yung uh, title is jesus i need you. i need you nawa maging bukang bibig natin yan at hindi lamang bukang bibig kundi paraan natin yes, every lifestyle. day na sa surrender tayo kay Lord every day na gigising tayo Lord I need you this day mm-hmm. show me lead me give me the strength and the courage to really follow you because without God without Jesus again we can do nothing wala po tayong magagawa we are hopeless and helpless and sabi ko nga nung last Sunday yung, yung opening statement ko I am nothing I have nothing yes. and there's no good in me mm-hmm. But because of Christ, because of God living inside of me, tinanggap tayo, pinatawad tayo, nilinis tayo. Yes. And if God did that, of course, He will help us Amen. every day. Amen. Kung binigay niya yung kanyang bugtong na anak ng Jesus para sa ating kalag- kaligtasan, will He not give he, us His strength every day to follow Him? Mm-hmm. I believe He will give us Amen. the strength to follow Him. Amen. Katunayan, the Holy Spirit is right there waiting for us na magtap tayo sa Kanya. Holy Spirit, come, fill me, empower me. Dahil kung wala ang tulong ng Balanay Spirito, wala po tayong magagawa. Amen. Again, let's surrender, admit to God na mahina tayo, we need God, we need Jesus. After all, we can follow the Lord because andyan siya palagi. Remember your message ni Pastor Jesse, mahalaga tayo sa Kanya. Amen. And He will never leave us nor forsake us. So, hawak po tayo sa Panginoon. Continue to believe God for the, yung mga miracles, yung mga breakthroughs na pinagpipray natin. And continue to believe God for the answer prayer na hinihintay natin. Amen? Amen. So, whatever you're going through right now, cry out to God, Jesus, I need you. Amen. I want to follow you. I want to do the right thing. And I know na sa tulong mo, magagawa po namin yan. Let us pray. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, we thank you once again. You're such a good God. Reminding us, Lord God, that every day, kailangan ka namin. That every day, we need to surrender yung mga bagay na, kag- na gusto namin over sa mga bagay na gusto mo, Panginoon. Because yung mga gusto mo is the best sa buhay namin, Panginoon. And so we ask, Lord God, na tulungan mo po kami to surrender, to leave all behind the things na maaring umagaw ng attention 
para sa pagsunod namin sa iyo. Father, we thank you so much for your grace. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit which is available sa aming mga anak mo, Panginoon. And right now, Lord God, we thank you. We give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And God bless CRC. God bless the Philippines. And God bless Olongapo. God bless you all again and have a great week. And remember, Jesus, you need Jesus. All right, yes. Amen.